Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at marketplace e-commerce. We're going to dive into this specific feature, but we're going to not only cover the feature itself and some of the benefits of this feature, we're also going to take a look at real world examples and some different iterations of this specific scenario for marketplace e-commerce. We're also going to talk a little bit about some of the permutations or iterations that you might see around this feature. And then we're going to wrap up. And if you can stick around till the end of the video, going to have an opportunity to take advantage of some complimentary resources that we have available to you as it relates to marketplace e-commerce. With that said, let's dive in. Analytics and feedback based marketing within your marketplace e-commerce platform. What are we talking about here? Well, the biggest thing that we want to say is that your users are very busy. Uh, they don't necessarily want your platform to require a lot of manual input and they wanted to learn what they're interested in without being too creepy. Now, ultimately what this typically looks like is having AI and machine learning in the background, pounding away at data and creating a, a footprint for what your particular users individually are going to tend to prefer based on de-identifying their personal information from their browsing history and being able to associate some of their different browsing history and purchasing history information to their particular uh, experience on the site right now. So we can actually create weights and standards for if somebody is looking at this category and dwelling this long on this product detail page and check out with this much quantity, uh, then we probably need to present a similar set of information that this other set of folks who had a similar path uh, experienced and purchased later on. Now, there's a lot of deep learning and a lot of deep information technically about how this works, but it ultimately just boils down to presenting logical, helpful information to the end user. For example, whenever I go to the home page and if I log in, I would like to see this area down below. I would like to see it update to show my categories that I'm most interested in that I look at the most. Pretty simple, right? And I also wanted to show products within those subcategories that make sense for me based on my past browsing history. Of course, I also want to be able to control this and make sure that I have privacy and the ability to request that that data be removed from the system if for any reason I feel that I want to uh, ask that it be removed. So GDPR and other uh, CCPA and other different privacy laws need to be respected. But ultimately, most users want you to intelligently help them find what they're looking for. Um, another example is going to be whenever they are searching, we need to actually adjust the search results so there is a feedback loop based on them personally and what they are typically clicking on and relating that to other patterns of other users, again, de-identified and normalized across the entire data set. But other patterns of users that have a similar behavior to them and similar sets of interests, we want to sort of promote the search results to show slightly differently based on that back, uh, back uh, feedback loop that's going on. The other thing that we can do is promote different product types within our premium listings and our personalized marketing areas. So what do we mean by personalized marketing areas? Well, these are opportunities where we can show custom information to the user based on performance of sellers, they can have their items promoted, um, or based on them paying for uh, promotional space or a combination of those two factors. Typically, if you get into the weeds around promotional and advertising areas within most very sophisticated scaled up marketplaces, there are two major components. One is how much they're paying for the ads and promotional space, but the other is their actual performance with the user and the value that their ads are actually bringing to the user. So the sellers need to consider both of these aspects. Now, ultimately, whenever you're offering advertising and you're providing analytical based feedback into your system around this advertising, this is going to be a huge data opportunity for you with your different sellers, because you can take this information and you can share with them that you have a very sophisticated model for presenting information to the right users and refining the data set so that the sellers are not advertising to the entire global marketplace, but they're actually able to refine their search, 
uh, refine their target audience rather and make it just their their addressable market that they serve that they're actually paying for ads for. So this can be a really powerful opportunity to take advantage of. It's also really helpful for users, especially if they're genuinely finding what they actually want and what they actually need. Uh, this is a win-win type of a situation. So the question is, does your marketplace e-commerce platform have this ability and how might you use this with your upcoming project and upcoming uh, type of marketplace e-commerce enhancements, if you will? What are some of the scenarios that make sense? And really, if you think about it, there can be a lot of opportunities here, not just for products, but also recommending suppliers. You may have educational opportunities that someone will want to take advantage of. Uh, you may want to offer folks the ability to download cheat sheets or comparisons or you know, a lot of what we see with marketplace platforms is they'll actually perform comparisons and industry analysis. So how can you include this type of information and knowledge sharing as well based on what your users would find useful? Uh, this, again, can be a great opportunity. The other thing that I'll point out, and this is just one example, but how can you also include this type of data analysis into the emails that go to your customers within your marketplace e-commerce platform? Uh, it's really helpful if the emails themselves are personalized and catered to that individual user. So we hope this gives you some ideas about how to take advantage of some of the analytics and feedback loop within your marketplace e-commerce platform and really consider options that might be best for your specific business. Of course, we would love for you to continue watching for just a few more minutes and see a little bit more information about complimentary resources that we have available to you as well. Thank you guys so much. We wish you all the best on your journey ahead with your Marketplace e-commerce platform. Thanks for watching this video on Marketplace e-commerce. In this particular edition, we went into quite a bit of detail. However, we want you to know that we have complimentary resources that you can download for free that give you a summary and a cheat sheet on key aspects of Marketplace e-commerce. In particular, we go into quite a bit of detail around a checklist it can be really helpful when upfront planning for a marketplace e-commerce project. We also have go live steps and optimization steps around various different aspects of running the marketplace, making it self-service, setting up the governance rules, optimizing for organic SEO, performance, security tuning, and really the list goes on. We certainly encourage you to take a look at those links in the description. And as always, if you would like to, we encourage you to go to town on that like button. Certainly feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications about additional videos like this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.